Within moments of receiving this radio call, El Cajon police officers Randall Gray and Fernando Martinez arrived to a full-blown inferno. When we show up, uh, we can see dark smoke coming out of the door and the window. There was a female who lives in the complex but not in the unit. She believed everyone was out of the apartment or that the apartment was vacant. But officers Martinez and Gray felt hesitant. I spoke to her briefly just asking you know, how she knew that or why she thought that. They really couldn't confirm why. We don't know if there's somebody in there, if they're unconscious or if they're hurt. The apartment was gushing out with smoke. You had to go in there and check. Facing extreme heat and blinding smoke, both officers rushed inside the burning apartment. The smoke was really kind of burning and blurring our eyes. So we were just trying to make a lot of verbal call outs. There was no response. You really couldn't even see more than two or three feet ahead. If I stuck my arm out, I couldn't see my own hand. As I made my way through the living room, once I got close enough, I saw a couch. And on the couch, I could see an adult female holding a female juvenile, probably three years old. We tried shaking them uh, to try and wake them up so that we can get them out of the apartment. Um, they weren't waking up. Officer Gray grabbed the little girl, took her outside, medics started working on her and then I'm trying to wake up the, the mom, but she's not waking up, so I grab her. Officer Martinez and Officer Gray pushed their way through smoke and flames, carrying both mother and child out of the burning apartment where firefighters and paramedics revived them. You just have to do it, what you can with what you have, and what we had was literally nothing. Officers Martinez and Gray trusted their instincts and took tremendous risks to save a mother and child. Randall and Fernando, are true heroes for what they did. They're true heroes for what they do on a daily basis. The fact that they were willing to go into a burning apartment building after being told that everyone is gone and they still went with their gut. I don't consider myself a real hero at, by any stretch. If it wasn't me who responded to that call the first time, it would just be someone else and they would have done the exact same thing. Not a hero. I chose to do this job. I would do it all over again if I had to.